Here's all the information we've managed to gather about Grand Theft Auto 6 so far. Dedicated fans have compiled a 60-page document that meticulously covers every new feature revealed in last year's leaks. These features have been officially confirmed by Rockstar Games, as they originate from the footage Rockstar themselves acknowledged as part of Grand Theft Auto 6. Keep in mind that the game is still in development, so some details might evolve. However, as of now, these are the features you can expect to find in the game. If you're interested in delving into the full document, you can find a link in the description. But bear in mind that it's quite an extensive read, so we'll break it down for you. Let's begin by discussing the game engine. Euphoria Physics has undergone adjustments, and improvements have been made to the ragdoll physics and overall game physics compared to GTA V. Additionally, Grand Theft Auto 6 will incorporate lighting and skybox systems similar to those seen in Red Dead Redemption 2. This means you can anticipate enhancements like volumetric clouds and better lighting, which mark a significant leap forward even compared to Red Dead 2. One notable detail from the leaks is the presence of heavy fog, a feature not prominently seen in GTA 5, except for snowy conditions. Advanced weather systems will play a more prominent role in GTA 6, adding depth and immersion to the game world. As for characters, we already have insights into several individuals set to appear in the game. While Jason and Lucia are the main protagonists, the leaks have revealed the existence of other characters. These include Dre, not to be confused with Dr. Dre, Sam, a friend of Dre, Kai Wine Simon, Zach R.B. Shaw, and several others like Vicky, Iris, Shanice, and YJ. It's quite astonishing that we even have details about their heights. Lucia stands at 5 feet 3 inches, while Jason measures 6 feet 1 inch tall. By the way, I'm holding a monthly giveaway for a PlayStation 5. You just need to subscribe and you're entered. Now, back to the video. We've also got details on three different gangs set to make an appearance in Vice City. Sand for Sand, a Haitian gang, the Guardia Brothers, and the far-right militia. Moving on to tools and items, the list is quite extensive. You can expect to find an autodialer, binoculars, immobilizer bypass, a color tool, painkillers, a pool cue, trauma kits, a golf driver, various food and drink items, a golf putter, a USB drive, a golf iron, a crowbar, a golf wedge, a torch, a Slim Jim, a tracker jammer, a duffel bag for stashing your loot, cigarettes, and a backpack, again for storing your loot. When it comes to weaponry, the leaks confirm several options, a rocket launcher, an assault rifle, a baseball bat, a polymer pistol, a knife, a bolt-action sniper rifle, a Molotov cocktail, a spear gun, which is intriguing, a smoke grenade, a compact SMG, a flashbang, a micro SMG, a hunter sniper rifle, a heavy machine gun, an auto rifle, and a pump action shotgun. The weapon wheel system will be divided into three sections, weapons, equipment, and gear. This setup is reminiscent of Red Dead Redemption 2, where you had access to your weapons, items, and horse all in one interface. Notably, we've seen glimpses of the ability to hold different weapons in each hand, and there's an additional quick item inventory in the bottom left corner of your screen. In a video clip, we observed an NPC firing at Jason, and shortly after, we noticed that Jason's health was low. A tip appeared on the left side of the screen, indicating, you were injured, your health will regenerate slowly. Open your weapon wheel and use a recovery item to replenish your health faster. Unlike GTA 5, where your health regenerated only up to 50%, in GTA 6, it seems that you may regenerate to full health naturally, albeit at a sluggish pace. However, if you want to expedite your healing process, you can employ a medical item. We've got confirmation on seven open world activities that will be available in the game. Currently, these activities include dice, golf, fishing, and races. Additionally, there's a van shipment activity, and in one of the videos, you can spot the spawning location for a delivery van event. This location is near the industrial area of Port Gellhorn, and it's noteworthy that there's a warning poster about security cameras in this area, suggesting the need for caution while attempting to rob the van. Now, regarding robberies, if you've seen the leaks, you might remember the Hank's Waffles robbery, which was quite impressive. Jason and Lucia took on the challenge of robbing this massive diner. In another clip, when Jason was entering a store for a robbery, it became apparent that he possessed an ability allowing him to see through walls. The leaks also mention events related to searching vehicle trunks for something valuable, or perhaps finding nothing at all. Moving on, there's another event type called Deliveries mentioned, specific to Port Gellhorn. It's somewhat challenging to predict the exact nature of these events, but that's all the information we have for now. As for enterable buildings, Grand Theft Auto 6 is set to offer more opportunities for exploration. Confirmed locations you can enter include the Malibu Club, a pawn shop, the Jack of Hearts, supermarkets, bars, restaurants, apartments, and laundries. Now, let's discuss multiplayer. In the leaked files, we did come across one multiplayer clip, and in the bottom left corner of the screen, 
It displayed PL2 of 32, indicating that there were two players in the lobby out of a possible 32 slots. This mirrors the setup seen in Red Dead Online and GTA Online. While it's mentioned as 32 slots, it's worth noting that the player count is actually capped at 30, with two additional spots reserved for spectators. While hopes may be for larger lobbies in GTA 6, at least during this testing phase, they were exploring the feasibility of 30 player lobbies. Let's delve into collectibles in the game. During a scene in one of the clubs with Lucia, we can observe a developer placing a cardboard box on the ground. Notably, these boxes appear to be lootable, with a circle icon indicating their interactability. The debug text on this box reads, collectibles underscore car underscore pass, suggesting that these boxes will contain car part collectibles. Furthermore, there's mention of Wyman car parts boxed generic used, which has sparked speculation that players may collect car parts specifically for a character named Wyman. It's inferred that both Jason and Wyman share an interest in classic cars. Moving on, we've got collectible hats. In a video featuring Jason in an apartment, a developer is seen interacting with a hat labeled as an ambient collectible hat in the debug text. This implies that one of the ambient activities in the game will involve gathering various articles of clothing, which adds an intriguing layer to gameplay. Now there's a comprehensive list of brands featured in the game, which I won't read out individually, as many may not be of significant importance to the storyline. Instead, I'll display them on your screen for your reference. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to take a closer look. Moreover, we have a list of confirmed animals in the game. As of now, the roster includes snakes, seagulls, skunks, raccoons, alligators, boars, wading birds, squirrels, southern leopard frogs, crayfish, lizards, skunk apes, pigeons, opossums, and whales. Keep in mind that this is not an exhaustive list, and there's a good chance we'll encounter even more wildlife when the game officially launches. These are simply the animals we have information on at this point in time. In the ongoing exploration of the forthcoming Grand Theft Auto installment, a plethora of new gameplay mechanics has come to light. These enhancements promise to augment the player experience in a variety of ways, ushering in a fresh layer of dynamism and immersion within the game world. First and foremost, players can now maneuver while ensconced in cover. This feature introduces a newfound level of flexibility during engagements, allowing for more strategic positioning in combat scenarios. Additionally, the ability to assume a prone position, a feature conspicuously absent in previous iterations of the game, adds an exciting dimension to gameplay, affording players the capacity to lie flat on the ground, potentially enhancing stealth and tactical maneuvers. Furthermore, the inclusion of loot bags offers a means to store surplus items, expanding inventory management options. An interesting addition is the capability to both drop and retrieve weapons, affording players greater adaptability in response to evolving circumstances. During intense firefights, a novel underfire animation engages, wherein the player character instinctively shields their face from incoming projectiles, providing a more immersive combat experience. In the aftermath of enduring a severe blow, players are granted the opportunity to enact self-revival, potentially turning the tide of adversity. In aiming down sights, the option to seamlessly switch shoulders grants players a tactical advantage, facilitating improved positioning and target acquisition. Moreover, hand-to-hand -hand combat now includes the ability to execute grabs, diversifying the melee combat mechanics. A noteworthy addition to the game is the implementation of buddy communication, embodied in the buddy comms and buddy ping system. Although specific details remain undisclosed, it is plausible that these features will facilitate coordinated actions between the two main characters, Jason and Lucia. Vehicle combat has witnessed a transformation, as shooting from car windows now entails the complete egress of the player character from the window, enabling full 360-degree firing capabilities, thereby revolutionizing vehicular combat dynamics. The intriguing Eagle Eye system, seemingly exclusive to Jason, allows for a form of wall-penetrating vision, although its applicability to Lucia remains uncertain. Enhancements also extend to interactions with in-game elements. Players will find themselves endowed with a broader range of interactions, such as the capacity to carry bodies, engage in robberies, issue threats, and converse with non-playable characters NPCs, during heists. Moreover, the ability to collect additional items, including beer bottles and cans, enriches the gameplay experience. Shifting the focus to new gameplay systems, one particularly exciting addition is the concept of money laundering. During the Hank's Waffles robbery, an icon associated with the car wash property, a washing machine adorned with a dollar sign, 
has been identified as indicative of money laundering. This suggests that players may have the opportunity to purchase specific types of businesses with the intent of laundering illicit funds in the single-player mode. Moreover, the inclusion of fences introduces a layer of illegal commerce within the game. These fences serve as intermediaries for players to sell illegal items, providing a means to offload contraband and potentially profit from illicit endeavors. The inclusion of hacking mechanics is confirmed to some extent in the game. Lucia is equipped with a set of intriguing tools, including a tracker jammer, immobilizer bypass, USB drive, and an auto dialer. As of now, it remains unconfirmed whether Jason will also have access to these items. Historical leaks from a few years ago hinted that Lucia would be the designated hacker, so the extent of hacking abilities for each character awaits further clarification. Among the event types within the game, two distinct categories emerge, pragmatic cool and chaotic and romantic cool. While specific details surrounding these events are not fully disclosed, they introduce intriguing possibilities for players to navigate. Furthermore, during robberies, players will have the capacity to issue commands to the other character involved. In a video clip from the leaks depicting a robbery, a tip notification suggests checking in with Jason or holding for more options. This implies that players can give their partner commands during a heist. Notably, prompts to instruct Jason to either surrender or follow indicate a degree of control over both characters simultaneously, simplifying coordination compared to relying solely on AI behavior. The witness system and police recognition within the game hold significant implications. During the Hank's Waffle robbery video, an interesting detail surfaces regarding the Wanted Level Stars interface which includes the term full description. This strongly suggests that witnesses within the game possess comprehensive knowledge about the player character. Consequently, law enforcement is expected to recognize the player once Lucia enters a police vehicle. Additionally, a transition is observed from no vehicle description to full vehicle description in response to Lucia's actions. This implies that even after losing a wanted level, if the police spot the player in the same vehicle, they will react accordingly, potentially leading to an arrest or hostile encounter. During the robbery sequence, Jason can be seen actively preventing customers marked with yellow icons above their heads from calling the authorities or fleeing the scene. Notably, an NPC within the diner exhibits a yellow icon above her head. Following Lucia's exit from the diner, the icon begins to flicker. Subsequently, as Lucia approaches a police car surrounded by law enforcement, the icon shifts to red. The female NPC then departs from the diner, making eye contact with Lucia before hastening away. These developments underscore the sophistication of NPC interactions, presenting a notable advancement in the game's artificial intelligence systems. The prospect of item sharing between the characters Jason and Lucia is on the horizon. A notable example emerges from a video clip where Jason pilfers items from containers, opting to retain some while distributing others. This cooperative element extends to the unlocking of doors and gates, exemplified in a video featuring Jason within the Sand for Sand area, which, if you recall, is the moniker of a gang in GTA 6. In this particular clip, Jason stealthily maneuvers past a red truck, revealing a door from an import garage building bearing the descriptor door panel locked in its debug text. In juxtaposition, a gate within the same clip indicates door unlocked, signifying the necessity of unlocking specific access points. Subsequently, we delve into an extensive catalog of new features, commencing with an upgraded AI system. In a visual excerpt, the enemy AI exhibits an inclination to open fire upon Lucia when she pivots to face them. This hints at AI entities possessing a heightened acumen for discerning opportune moments to engage in combat. Impressively, AI units adapt their elevation relative to surrounding obstacles, steering clear of potentially disadvantageous head-glitching tactics. Furthermore, a prudent alteration manifests as AI adversaries opting to lower their stance during weapon reloads, a judicious move compared to reloading while exposed in the open. Enhanced AI combat tactics are evident in their lateral strafing maneuvers during shootouts. Notably, NPC behavior has undergone substantial refinement. As discernible in the leaked materials, AI characters no longer traverse the game world in solitary isolation, but now frequently assemble into groups. This intriguing development is reminiscent of a feature previously observed in Red Dead Redemption 2, where NPCs often moved in cohesive units. An illustrative instance materializes in a video where Lucia, carrying a duffel bag, shares the sidewalk with three individuals attired as tourists, who engage in animated conversation while strolling past her. This signifies a notable departure from GTA V, where pedestrians predominantly ambulated in solitary fashion, contrasting with the forthcoming inclusion of group dynamics, perhaps even encompassing couples or social cliques, enhancing the verisimilitude of the game world. A notable addition to the gameplay dynamics is the option to voluntarily surrender to law enforcement during a robbery. The consequences of such an action remain shrouded in uncertainty, warranting further exploration upon the game's release. 
Furthermore, the mundane act of purchasing gumballs from vending machines emerges as a potentially restorative action. While it can be surmised that gumballs may offer a healing effect, concrete details regarding their function remain pending confirmation. In a nod to realism, akin to GTA 5, the forthcoming installment acknowledges the accumulation of dirt on your character's clothing, reflecting the wear and tear endured during your escapades. The hair and facial hair systems exhibit intriguing variability, with different versions of Jason observable in the leaks, sporting varying hairstyles, including long hair, short hair, stubble, and clean-shaven looks. While not definitively confirmed, this strongly alludes to the introduction of a hair growth system, akin to the one featured in Red Dead Redemption 2. Given the precedence established in the latter game, the likelihood of such a system in GTA 6 appears high. Expanding the repertoire of actions available to players, the ability to consume items directly from your inventory is showcased. When Jason visits a gas station, the inventory reveals options for wine, soda, and fruit consumption, implying that you can partake in these items at your convenience, akin to the mechanics present in Red Dead and GTA Online. Introducing a novel event type named Cop Trap, the game incorporates scenarios where law enforcement sets up traps at multiple locations. While the precise details of these traps remain undisclosed, it is apparent that police will employ diverse tactics to ensnare players. An overhaul in the police system introduces the concept of time until cops dispatch. In this iteration, criminal activities do not instantly summon law enforcement. Instead, players are afforded a brief window to execute an escape before the police response commences. The inclusion of security cameras as a surveillance mechanism adds complexity to evading detection. Unlike the conventional implementation in GTA Online, these cameras employ a detection meter, reminiscent of mechanics seen in games like Payday 2 or Payday 3. Players must act swiftly to evade the camera's line of sight within a specified time frame, akin to a filling bar to avoid detection. This novel approach to security cameras introduces a fresh layer of challenge and strategy to evading law enforcement. Players will have the newfound ability to restrain non-player characters, NPCs. The primary method, as gleaned from the leaks, involves the use of zip ties. This restraint option becomes particularly pertinent during robbery scenarios, where players can employ zip ties to immobilize NPCs. A novel feature that comes to light is the capacity to loot vehicles. A fleeting glimpse in the Hank's Waffles video reveals a button prompt in the bottom right corner of the screen, labeled Examine SUV. This hints at the prospect of inspecting random cars and potentially engaging in vehicular theft. To make car theft more engaging, an advanced hijacking system is on the horizon. The existence of the immobilizer bypass device previously discussed suggests that pilfering high-end vehicles will pose a greater challenge. Additionally, an item known as the Slim Jim will facilitate unlocking older model cars. These mechanics collectively point to the notion that hijacking automobiles will become a more intricate endeavor, with the potential for car theft endeavors to end in failure. Furthermore, two intriguing event types emerge, namely carjacking, cat, and carjacking, advanced AI. These events suggest that the vehicular hijacking process will incorporate nuanced elements, potentially involving the interference of an AI-controlled entity. GTA 6 promises to deliver an augmented vehicular experience through improved vehicle damage and handling. In a displayed video clip, as Lucia attempts to evade pursuing law enforcement, cars suffer more impactful damage. Notably, various parts of the vehicles, such as the front fender and hood, demonstrate more realistic deformation and fragmentation. The in-game interiors now feature functional GPS and waypoint systems on the dashboard, enhancing navigational convenience for players driving in the first-person perspective. Additionally, players have the option to enter a car via the passenger seat, offering flexibility in vehicle interaction. A hallmark of GTA 6 is its meticulous attention to detail. Players can encounter raccoons engaging in behavior, such as rummaging through trash cans and pilfering food bags. These instances are categorized as world events, denoted as raccoon climb out of garbage, raccoon rummage trash, and raccoon steal food bag. While numerous other subtle details enrich the game world, they are too numerous to enumerate here. Interested individuals can explore these intricacies further through the provided link. Expect a heightened level of auditory realism in GTA 6. Weapon sounds exhibit enhanced clarity and realism, with greater volume. The sounds of bodies impacting the ground will resonate with a more substantial thud, evoking a heightened sense of impact. Police sirens will reverberate off buildings and environmental elements with heightened realism, while items will produce varying auditory responses contingent on the surrounding context. In essence, sound design in GTA 6 aims to authentically replicate real-life auditory experiences. 
fascinating developments. Several months ago, a colossal trove of leaked data unveiled a wealth of intriguing random events, world encounters, that promised to enrich the GTA 6 experience. While I won't delve into all of them, the list is nothing short of captivating. Events range from mundane occurrences like parking disputes to more enthralling incidents such as donut burnouts, protests, and even someone suffering a concussion. The prospect of navigating the lifelike world of Vice City, teeming with such diverse activities, is undeniably exhilarating. I strongly recommend pausing the video to peruse this remarkable compilation. Additionally, we have been privy to an extensive catalogue of vehicles slated to appear in GTA 6. These vehicles, gleaned from both in-game leaks and files, I encourage you to peruse this comprehensive list at your leisure. It resides on page 30 of the document. Furthermore, the leaks have divulged a plethora of confirmed locations within Vice City and its environs. Naturally, Vice City itself takes center stage, while several districts and neighborhoods will pepper its landscape. Notable locations include Edgewater, North Bay City, Rock Ridge, Little Haiti, Vice Beach, South Beach, Washington Beach, and Key Biscayne. Port Gellhorn, intriguingly, appears as a separate city akin to Sandy Shores or Polito Bay from previous iterations. The list extends to encompass Yorktown, Ambrosia, Sundown, The Keys, La Pearl, Red Hill, Lake Leonida, Hamlet, Stockyard, Homestead, Grass Rivers, Ekin, Fanaka, Underwater, and Relief. Each of these major locations contains a multitude of sub-locations, a testament to the meticulous world-building evident in the game. As if this weren't enough, the dedicated community has endeavored to construct a speculative map of GTA 6 based on coordinates extracted from the leaks. While the precise layout of the map's northern region remains uncertain, the map preview encapsulates the sprawling Vice City to the south and Port Gellhorn on the left. This visual representation of the game world is undeniably impressive and stokes the anticipation for the immersive adventures that await. Ever since the announcement of GTA 6, there's been a whirlwind of speculation and rumors. However, let's dive into the confirmed details about vehicles, items, weapons, and game features. The official release is still a few years away, but Rockstar Games is hard at work to ensure it delivers a top-notch experience. Thanks to a recent leak, we've got some insider information. We're talking vehicles, revamped physics, key characters like Lucia and Jason, map locations, an expansive open world, a plethora of in-game activities, and a diverse array of weapons. Additionally, there's news about enhanced AI for non-player characters, RPG elements, and innovative gameplay features. All of this has the gaming community eagerly anticipating the arrival of GTA 6. Let's start by highlighting some exciting discoveries from the leaked footage, focusing on new features and specific gameplay elements revealed. In one scene, Jason and his friends unwind by an in-ground pool in a regular neighborhood, exchanging jokes about a parody of social media called Life Invader. Their banter cleverly references Jay Norris's demise, showcasing the beloved Grand Theft Auto humor cherished by fans. Throughout the footage, interactions with NPCs in the vast world are featured, capturing moments like characters taking selfies, which enrich the game's environment and deepen player immersion. There's a notable instance where Jason enters a gang's turf and takes cover behind a truck, demonstrating unique character animations reacting to gunfire. By the way, I'm holding a monthly giveaway for a PlayStation 5. You just need to subscribe and you're entered. Now, back to the video. A significant find in the clips is a jetpack, previously hinted at by Tom Henderson, visible inside the Jack of Hearts Club. The game incorporates parodies of social media platforms like Snapchat, Instagram, and Life Invader. Characters sport diverse hairstyles, adding to the game's realism. Animation tests depict Lucia and Jason engaging in various actions like jogging, pausing, and evading gunfire by ducking. Rockstar's developers also conducted tests on vehicle crash physics on an overpass. Interstate 97's highway signs mention North Beaches and Lake Leonida, with the current exit leading to Washington Beach. In another intriguing scene, Jason stumbles upon a shipping container filled with stacks of cash and a motorbike. Various development clips highlight adjustments being made to a vehicle's interior, suggesting potential new designs or customization options for players. A groundbreaking addition introduces a new combat dynamic where both players and NPCs wield their firearms sideways during battles, altering the confrontation dynamics. Moreover, Jason demonstrates his expertise by skillfully twirling his rifle in the air, while another character in a parking lot fires a pistol held sideways at him. Another feature inspired by Red Dead Redemption 2 is the ability to pick up and carry bodies, adding intricacy to gameplay. This game draws inspiration from various aspects of Red Dead Redemption 2. The game incorporates numerous RPG elements, encompassing the management of food, drinks, sweat, fatigue, 
and even animal taming, elevating the depth of the player's experience. Mentions of mountain bike ramps and city bike rentals hint at enjoyable cycling activities. The leaked footage references a variety of weapons, ranging from conventional firearms like pistols, shotguns, and rifles, to unconventional choices like golf clubs, baseball bats, and crowbars. Players can also make use of tools such as flashlights, binoculars, lockpicks, and more. The leaked footage also reveals early police AI testing, showcasing NPCs effectively using cover during shootouts. In a scene where Jason holds up a diner worker with an assault rifle, provisional dialogue options reminiscent of Red Dead Redemption 2 are showcased. Jason's newfound ability to go prone introduces a fresh element to the series. A scene set in a thrift or antique shop hints at potential robbery opportunities, possibly serving as a place to sell stolen items and deepen the gameplay experience. Furthermore, players have the option to stay at motels and hotels, with the Kington Hotel among the choices. A pool party with live music offers an additional interactive element for players. The footage suggests animations such as an overdose, teasing unique actions or events within the game. Horses and potential horse riding mechanics seem to be part of the experience, possibly drawing inspiration from Red Dead Redemption 2. The expansive world teems with accessible spots, from motels and metro stations to restaurants, pawn shops, and supermarkets. Even small actions like grabbing a gumball from a quick shop machine add to the overall ambiance. A notable inclusion is the ability to shoot while swimming, introducing a new layer to combat scenarios. Together, these diverse and captivating elements promise an immersive and enjoyable experience in Grand Theft Auto 6. Hints at the Everglades and the presence of diverse wildlife such as alligators, snakes, raccoons, and birds indicate varied environments waiting to be explored. The weapon wheel system, reminiscent of Red Dead Redemption 2, limits the number of weapons and items players can carry. Lucia carries a loot bag, likely used for robberies or looting different places. The inventory system allows players to carry health kits and various items for temporary boosts, while Jason can manage and swap weapons from his inventory. Now let's dive into the vehicles of GTA 6. Big shout out to the GTA forums for compiling this information. Below, you'll find links to join the ongoing discussions. There's a multitude of confirmed vehicles. We're talking about the Blister Compact, Ocelot Locust, and a vehicle resembling an early 90s Buick Skylark. Additionally, there are new cars without official names, like a 90s Chevy Caprice, a Chevy Malibu from 2016 onwards, a Chevy Sonic, and a Honda Accord from 2018 to 2022. And as is typical of Rockstar, expect these cars to sport their quirky names, as they always do. The roster keeps growing. Albany Primo, Benefactor Shafter, LWB. A fusion of Ford Explorer and Tahoe from the 90s or 2000s. A Toyota RAV4 from 2018 onwards, with hints of Lexus NX style and a Mercedes grill. Pegasi Toros, a 1980s Jeep CJA Scrambler. A 5th Gen F150. A G20 conversion van. A Brute Camper. Vapid Speedo. HV Mixer, Metro Mover, D-Class Sheriff SUV, Mobatsu Sanchez Livery, Nagasaki Street Blazer, a 1970s Ford Ranchero, a 1971 Buick Estate, an Albany Emperor, D-Class Turbo Sabre, Yoga Classic, The Contender, and Saddler. Furthermore, gamers can anticipate a wide array of vehicles in Grand Theft Auto 6, including the Slam Van Pickup, Bobcat XL, an updated Regina, Alpha, Gauntlet Classic, Moonbeam Helion, Boxville Go Postal, an unidentified Albany vehicle inspired by a 1959-60 Cadillac, a Rebel, an unknown Asian sedan, a Ferrasi or Ferroci, Baller, Novak, Buffalo STX, Alpha and Fudo, a Benson, NF890, Buffalo without a sports bumper, and the Stanier and Landstalker. This extensive range ensures a varied and immersive driving experience within the game. Now, let's delve into the prevalent video clips making rounds on social media platforms, offering glimpses into mission gameplay and illuminating Rockstar Games' vision for GTA 6. One widely circulated clip focuses on a mission involving Lucia, the game's playable character, a Latina protagonist attempting a heist at Hank's Waffles, a diner. In this early testing phase, the non-player characters lack intricate facial features, sporting a somewhat comical appearance amusingly referenced as dummy-like within the game. NPCs dynamically react to Lucia's aggressive actions, displaying varied animations depicting the fear induced by the robbery, reminiscent of the dynamic NPC responses seen in Red Dead Redemption 2. During the diner heist, Lucia faces the choice of aiming her handgun at a hostage, offering players the option to either rob or engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. This adds complexity to criminal activities in the game. Jason, the white male protagonist, also participates in the robbery, enabling players to interact with both characters in the encounter. 
Jason urges Lucia to act swiftly and make a clean getaway, hinting at a relationship akin to the iconic duo Bonnie and Clyde, aligning with previous leaks surrounding the game's narrative. The appearance of these characters bears resemblance to actors Eva Mendes and Ryan Gosling from The Place Beyond the Pines, though it's uncertain whether the game's storyline will mirror the movie's plot. Lucia and Jason appear to be in their late 20s, and the game seamlessly integrates a character-switching feature activated through the controller's D-pad. As the police arrive, Lucia intimidates another hostage, leading to a confrontation with law enforcement outside. The detailed design of the outdoor area suggests a setting inspired by northern Florida, rich with lush vegetation. During Lucia and Jason's getaway, they rack up two wanted stars but skillfully dodge a shootout, maneuvering through parked cars before commandeering a police cruiser. This initial phase of the mission offers tutorial-like prompts, highlighting advancements in police AI, where law enforcement remembers vehicles involved in illegal activities. The scene ends with Lucia behind the wheel of the police car, Jason reassuring her of their ability to shake off the cops. However, their escape meets an unexpected halt due to an unintended collision at an old-fashioned car wash. Moving on to the next mission, Jason and Lucia visit the Jack of Hearts Club, encountering Dre engrossed in conversation with another woman. Dre shares his aspirations in the music industry, hinting at the arrival of someone named Boopy. During this exchange, we receive messages from two new contacts, Billy and R.B. Shaw, using a parody version of WhatsApp. Early footage unveils a minimap reminiscent of Grand Theft Auto V, potentially indicating missions from unfamiliar characters identified as WM and YJ. As they head to the VIP second floor, Dre interacts with DJ Tip, expressing dissatisfaction with drink delays. A brief conflict suggests Tip's unpopular status. Dre moves away, concluding the clip. It's important to note that these clips showcase early stages of development and are subject to changes as the game progresses. Another intriguing leak reveals details about over 500 in-game events, encounters, and Easter eggs. While we can't cover all of them, here are a few highlights. According to insights from the GTA forums, the open world of GTA 6 is anticipated to be at least two and a half times larger than GTA 5S, offering an extensive and immersive environment for exploration. The game follows a successful model akin to Red Dead Redemption 2, promising a meticulously crafted open world filled with captivating mysteries that elevate the gaming experience. Development footage of GTA 6 showcases recognizable real-life Florida locations, such as the Homestead Miami Speedway transformed into the Port Gellhorn racetrack, alongside landmarks like Portofino Tower, Sombrero Key Light, Solar Amphitheater Bayfront Park, and Lone Depot Park. Moreover, the addition of the 1000 Museum, a high-rise residential condominium in Miami, showcases Rockstar's meticulous attention to detail. A metro map that mirrors Miami's layout enhances the game's immersive quality. While the presence of lush grasslands hints at potential expansion into Georgia, this remains speculative until officially confirmed. A diverse array of events, from fishing and Satanist houses to backyard wrestling rings and opulent mansions with exotic pets, offer varied experiences within the game's expansive universe. There's talk about missing tourists, yard sales introducing new clothing options, an event reminiscent of insurance fraud in Saints Row, a mysterious voice echoing from a storm drain, possibly a nod to Pennywise, a multi-location mystery akin to Bonnie and Clyde, and a fitness challenge teasing the return of workout activities. Moreover, in Grand Theft Auto 6, players might stumble upon an island camp, DUI tests, UFO sightings, an animal sanctuary, a swamp expedition, and the chance to engage in crazy golf gameplay. Now, let's explore the primary locations showcased in GTA 6. Ambrosia comprises Ambrosia Farms and the Tarmac. Bayside Copperhead, the Everglades or Grass Rivers, Fairyland and Fairyland Forest provide unique settings. The Keys region includes East Key, Low Key, and additional spots like a garage, gas station, and liquor store. Lake Okeechobee encompasses a motel, prison, and racetrack, while Little Haiti, North Beach, and North Miami House establishments, such as gas stations, hideouts, and liquor stores. Port Gellhorn stands out with detailed spots, including an abandoned building, basketball court, beach, bingo hall, bowling alley, car wash, fishing store, fruit stand, gas station, motel, pawn shop, police station, quick shop, raceway, soccer field, and more. Red Hill features a forest, while South Beach presents a boardwalk, gym, hotel, ocean drive, and park. South Miami Sundown includes a beach and tarmac, and Vice Beach covers Vice City suburbs and Washington Beach. Various locations like an abandoned hotel, observatory, fountain of youth, homeless community, Malibu Club, Monument of Leonida, 
Redneck Yacht Club, Spaceship House, Underwater Research Facility, and Dinosaur World enrich the gaming world. The design of the Miami Beach Police Department resembling the Vice City Neighborhood Police Station showcases Rockstar's innovative approach to world building. Naturally, with early details, we eagerly anticipate official confirmations to see how these elements will be integrated into the final game. Until then, the intrigue surrounding Grand Theft Auto 6 will undoubtedly keep fans eagerly awaiting its release. Recent leaks strongly suggest that Alexandra Cristina Ekavari might lend her voice to Lucia in Grand Theft Auto 6. Her voice in a demo reel closely matches leaked clips of Lucia's dialogues, hinting at her possible portrayal of the character. Throughout this overview, we've covered a wealth of information about Grand Theft Auto 6, exploring various aspects of the game. It was important to encompass all the known details thus far. Even though the game might still be a couple of years away from release, much to the excitement of fans. What aspects of this game have you feeling excited? Share your thoughts in the comments below. A substantial upgrade in GTA 6 centers around NPC behavior. NPCs come in various sizes and shapes, with their reactions feeling incredibly genuine. Drawing a firearm might cause nearby individuals to panic. The game is also implementing an intricate injury system, covering aspects like concussions. Now, let's delve into the impressive visuals and new features. Characters in GTA 6 will naturally develop facial hair over time. Moreover, the GTA 6 world introduces a social platform named WhatsApp, resembling a playful version of WhatsApp. Additionally, beloved spoof versions of social media platforms like Life Invader, Facebook, Bleeter, Twitter, and Snapmatic, Instagram, are making a comeback. Shifting focus to our protagonists, Jason and Lucia, each equipped with their own and shared inventories. Your inventory can store various items such as wine, soda, and fruit. Furthermore, there's a duffel bag system for easy transportation of supplies and weapons. Robberies hold considerable significance in GTA 6, ranging from major heists to smaller scores. Easy scores involve targets like bingo body shops, burnout skirts at Cafe Caraway, clothing stores, food trucks, massage parlors, and more. Additionally, the addition of robbing shipping containers introduces a whole new level of thrill. Gameplay takes a significant leap. For the first time in GTA, players can crouch and go prone, introducing tactical elements. RPG elements are also prevalent, hinting at hunger leveling and animal interactions, adding depth to the game. The revival of iconic spots like the Malibu Club and Ocean View Hotel in GTA 6 sparks excitement. Teases of events like Lost at Sea Island Camp and Lost Plane hint at potential island scenarios, reminiscent of Guarma from a previous game. Let's turn our attention to weaponry. GTA 6 is shaking up the system, taking a cue from Red Dead Redemption 2. Instead of a vast weapon wheel, specific slots will be designated for small firearms, melee weapons, rifles, and shotguns. No infinite weapons, but you'll have the flexibility to drop and pick up weapons as you progress. During the game's development, Arthur Morgan's hat was spotted, but its inclusion in the final game remains uncertain. Players now have the choice to surrender to the police during a robbery, adding an exhilarating twist to gameplay. Police response times have been adjusted for a more authentic feel, displaying a timer that varies based on the severity of the crime. For instance, a murder prompts a quicker response than a robbery. Additionally, the maximum wanted level is set at 5 stars in GTA 6, with the possibility of a 6-star level seeming highly improbable in the current gameplay being developed. Police AI has seen significant upgrades from the previous game. Rather than blindly rushing in, law enforcement now showcases more realistic and intelligent behavior. If you commit a crime and attempt to escape in a vehicle, cops will take note of the specific vehicle and license plate, making evading them a more challenging task. In GTA 6, anticipate encountering various events, from chance encounters with muggers to NPC-hosted yard sales. There are hints of riding events, potentially involving horse riding, and possibly drawing from the Red Dead Redemption 2 team's expertise. Get ready for new firepower. The spear gun makes its debut, enabling players to shoot underwater spears at their targets. Additionally, a plethora of gear is at your disposal, including binoculars, cutting tools, flashlights, immobilizer bypasses, slim gyms, USB drives, tasers, zip ties, and auto dialers. The game embraces RPG elements like weight and muscle management, highlighted in the Spool Couple Workout Challenge. Leaked footage unveils Jason and Lucia's apartments. For example, Jason's place features a bathtub for in-game bathing. 
Prepare for a modern setting post-GTA 5 event. The game intricately recreates various Miami landmarks, including a grand tennis court, a bustling football stadium, and a vibrant amphitheater. The map encompasses an airport and a functional tram system with a stop at the airport. But that's not all. The Florida Keys and a swampy area, known as the Grass Rivers, reminiscent of the Everglades, are part of the game. Players can navigate swamp boats in this region. Weaponry in GTA 6 offers incredible diversity. Players can access melee options such as golf clubs, pool cues, crowbars, and bats, along with a spectrum of firearms ranging from pistols to snipers and RPGs. Additionally, customization extends to how your character holds these weapons. Moreover, there's an assortment of throwable items, including grenades, molotovs, and even golf balls. Rockstar adopts a more cautious storytelling approach, steering clear of offensive humor and being sensitive to groups that might feel targeted. The narrative is structured in chapters, drawing inspiration from the approach seen in Red Dead Redemption 2. Gameplay enhancements in GTA 6 introduce the ability to stealthily zip-tie NPCs and carry bodies, enhancing the intricacy of stealth mechanics. During exploration, players encounter a diverse array of wildlife, from alligators, bears and boars, to dogs, snakes, raccoons, birds, frogs, bald cats, and rodents. Symbols indicating plants and toxic waste are also scattered throughout the game. Look out for the Scarface crime scene, possibly an Easter egg nod to Tony Montana. There's also a murder mystery labeled Missing Tourists. Furthermore, camping spots are scattered around, hinting at the possibility of owning a camper van later in the game. Get ready for significantly enhanced NPC interactions. In GTA 6, you'll have various choices, from threatening and robbing to shooting or restraining them. Certain missions even include gesture-based actions, reminiscent of Red Dead Redemption 2. Vehicle damage has been revamped for a more realistic experience, and the interior details are remarkable, featuring fully functional dashboards. Now, let's explore the substantial focus on indoor settings in GTA 6. There's a multitude of diverse interiors to discover, including nightclubs, motels, hotels, restaurants, pawn shops, supermarkets, fast food joints, gun stores, shooting ranges, and the Vice City Metro Station. Moreover, functional elevators have been added to heighten the immersive experience. Interestingly, there's a risk of players being banned from stores, introducing an intriguing element to gameplay. Let's delve into the characters. GTA 6 introduces a duo of protagonists, Jason, portrayed by Brian Zampella, and Lucia, played by Alexandra C. Echevarri. Lucia marks the franchise's first playable female character, and you can seamlessly switch between them. Interestingly, they're depicted as a couple, drawing inspiration from the infamous duo Bonnie and Clyde. The gunplay in GTA 6 mirrors the mechanic scene in Red Dead Redemption 2 and Max Payne 3. Exploring those games before GTA 6's release might be worthwhile if you haven't already. As for activities, GTA 6 is packed with options, ranging from fishing and intense golfing to basketball, football, and soccer. There are gyms for training, a yacht club, and even a racetrack. GTA 6 boasts a myriad of side activities, from backyard wrestling and racing to UFO events and beach bonfires. Even seemingly mundane actions matter, like picking up cans from the ground. Jason and Lucia, the main characters, possess special abilities reminiscent of those seen in GTA 5. Hold onto your seats, the jetpack is making a return. Shooting from cars is also on the table, adding more thrill. And here's the twist. GTA 6 introduces 18 completely new vehicles to the franchise. Rockstar plans to continuously introduce new missions and cities after GTA 6's launch. It's yet to be clarified if this is for online or story mode. Expect an enhanced cover system, surpassing what we've experienced in other Rockstar titles. Get ready for a map larger than GTA 5's in GTA 6. This time, Vice City takes center stage, an area inspired by Miami and its surroundings providing players with a vast and diverse landscape. There's even a glimpse of a lake in one of the videos, hinting at a substantial part of Florida being part of the game. Don't overlook the vibrant Kingston Hotel. It's a bustling location with pool parties and live music, adding another layer of vibrancy to the world of GTA 6. The clothing system in the game operates realistically. You can accessorize with items like sunglasses, watches, wristbands, and hats in various styles. The attention to detail is impressive, with features like sweat, dirt, and wrinkles adding to the game's authenticity. Internally known as Project Americas, GTA 6 had a codename during its developmental phase, much like GTA 5, Rush, and Red Dead Redemption 2, Bonnier. Initially planned as a larger map encompassing North and South America, alterations in Rockstar's approach led to scaling it down. 
Nevertheless, it's poised to offer a remarkable experience with its features and locations. GTA 6 ramps up interactivity with functional CCTV cameras that players can disrupt. Beware of police traps areas where law enforcement lies in wait to apprehend you, and brace yourself for gripping encounters with corrupt cop shakedown events. Jason and Lucia establish their base of operations in a motel, functioning as a central hub for their activities. The game's world is teeming with diverse street gangs, each embodying its unique atmosphere. Characters exhibit a spectrum of personalities, from romantic and chaotic, to cool, pragmatic chaotic, and pragmatic cool. As part of the immersive experience, the game features DUI sobriety tests, although it's uncertain if they apply to the player character or random NPCs. Rockstar's attention to detail stands out, evident even in fully operational gumball machines within the game. It's crucial to note that these details are gleaned from development footage and may undergo changes before the final release. Nonetheless, they provide an intriguing glimpse into what Rockstar has in store for GTA 6. Specific in-game locations will incorporate CCTV cameras. In leaked footage, Jason triggers one of these cameras, prompting a security guard to pursue him, reintroducing a familiar mechanic from GTA 5. Now, onto vehicles. The types of vehicles you encounter in the game will vary based on your location within the virtual world. In the affluent areas of Vice City, expect a plethora of sports cars and high-end vehicles. Venturing farther from the city reveals more rustic, aged, and worn-out vehicles, amplifying the game's realism. Let's dive into intriguing gameplay features. Leaked content showcases an inventory system where each character has their distinct inventory. Additionally, there's a shared inventory section that Rockstar was experimenting with, although its inclusion in the final game is uncertain. Notably, players won't carry as many weapons as in GTA V. Heavy weapons like rocket launchers occupy multiple inventory slots, limiting players to one significant firearm, alongside a couple of smaller firearms or throwable items without a bag. There's speculation about a potential double bag, expanding inventory size, but this remains unconfirmed. A neat addition in GTA 6 is the Intimidate feature, activated when you aim your firearm at a non-playable character NPC. This option might coerce them into surrendering, offering an extra layer of choice and interaction within the game. In GTA 6, the game world will be inhabited by various confirmed animals, offering encounters with alligators, boars, bucks, cows, deer, dogs, frogs, herons, pigeons, possums, raccoons, rats, seagulls, skunks, snakes, and squirrels. The potential for interactions or hunting activities involving these creatures adds an intriguing layer to the gameplay. Let's explore the exciting array of vehicles awaiting players in GTA 6. Thanks to the diligent team at GTA Base, we've compiled a comprehensive list of vehicles seen in the leaked material. Returning favorites from GTA 5 include the Albany Alpha, Galavanta Baylor, Vapid Benson, Roboto Bison, Dinka Blister Compact, Vapid Bobcat XL, Brute Boxville, De Classy Burrito, Brute Camper, Vapid Contender, Imponti DF 890, Albany Emperor, Bravado Feroci, Karen Fruto, Bravado Gauntlet Classic, The Class Ranger, Anis Helion, Forian Locust, Vapid Minivan, Heavy Mixer, De Classy Moonbeam, My Batsu Mule, Lampadati Novak, Vapid Police Cruiser, Albany Primo, Karen Rebel, Dundreary Regina, Bravado Ramp Custom, De Classy Saber Turbo, Vapid Saddler, My Batsu Sanchez, Benefactor Shafter LWB, Koenigsegg Seminole Frontier, and The Class Sheriff SUV. Additionally, GTA 6 introduces 18 new vehicles inspired by real-world counterparts. These additions encompass a 1990s Buick Skylark, a 1971 Buick Estate, a Cadillac DeVille Delegance, a 1959 Cadillac Black Eldorado, a 1990 Chevrolet Caprice, a 2016 Chevrolet Malibu, a Chevrolet Sonic, a 1980 Chrysler LeBaron Wagon, an excavator equipped with a grappling attachment, a 5th gen Ford F-150, a hybrid of the Ford Explorer and Tahoe, a 1970s Ford Ranchero, likely Jason's car, a G20 conversion van, a Honda Accord, a Jeep CJ8 Scrambler, a Metro Mover, a Toyota Camry, and a 2018 Toyota RAV4. In GTA 6, a new gameplay feature allows for rearward shooting, adding a cinematic twist as your character executes a stylish hip twist to shoot over their shoulder instead of a conventional complete turnaround. Shifting our focus to clothing, GTA 6 elevates realism with finer details like sweat after running, bloodstains and dirt on clothing, significantly enhancing the authenticity of the game world. In GTA 6, managing your inventory goes beyond weapons and gadgets. Carrying food or beverages will occupy valuable inventory space, 
While their exact roles, such as acting as healing items as seen in GTA 5, is unclear, it's essential to have first aid kits and various medicines for potential healing purposes. These items will be easily accessible through a separate hotbar or quick bar. The backdrop for GTA 6 is the familiar setting of Vice City. And although there's speculation about additional cities being added post-launch, no official confirmation has been provided yet. Speaking of protagonists, players will navigate two characters, Jason and Lucia. Interestingly, transitioning between these characters will be notably quicker than in GTA 5, almost instantaneous when they're in close proximity. Let's delve into specific locations on the in-game map. The Kington Hotel takes a prominent role in leaked footage, with Lucia appearing to make her way there. Intriguingly, there's a potential random event called a cop trap that could occur here. These scenarios involve law enforcement setting up traps in different spots to catch players, injecting an unpredictable element into the game world. GTA 6 promises a deeply immersive experience filled with features, and we're eagerly anticipating more details. Lockpicking is an exciting new feature in GTA 6, as revealed in leaks. Characters will carry lockpicks in their inventory. Get ready for a mini heist at the docks, where Jason adeptly infiltrates a shipping container housing a vehicle, setting the stage for an exhilarating joyride. Let's explore some captivating gameplay mechanics. A notable addition is the ability to carry and transport bodies. In a video clip, we saw an individual hoisting another person over their shoulders, although it's unclear if the subject was an NPC or another player, given that the footage was from GTA 6 Online. Additionally, there's exciting news about adopting a prone or crouched stance. While shooting while crouched is confirmed, firing while prone remains uncertain. Hold on to your seats, there's more to look forward to in GTA 6. This game will introduce 16 pieces of equipment essential for your adventures. From an auto-dialer and binoculars to a cut-off tool and flashlight, these items ensure you're ready for anything. Need a snack? Fruit and soda are available for your virtual refreshment. Whether cracking a safe or embarking on a covert mission, you'll have the necessary gear at your disposal. Shifting our focus to GTA Online, it seems the lobbies will now host up to 32 players. Opinions may vary on this change, but the multiplayer experience will depend largely on Rockstar's game design, promising an engaging online environment. Nightclubs are set to make a return in GTA 6, letting players dive into Vice City's vibrant nightlife and party scenes. With so much in store for GTA 6, anticipation for the game's full release is soaring. A significant addition is the Jack of Hearts Club, surpassing the clubs in GTA 5 in size and immersion. With multiple levels, poles, bars, and private sections, it's poised to become a sought-after hotspot in Vice City, generating massive excitement among fans. In the vast world of GTA 6, you'll stumble upon over 1,300 random world events, from small interactions with non-playable characters to store robberies, ensuring constant dynamism around you. Additionally, when evading the police and getting into a vehicle, a warning prompt will appear. This caution indicates that law enforcement will take note of you entering a vehicle, so don't expect to easily shake off the authorities by hopping out of the vehicle, as they'll recognize the one you were seen entering. Contrary to some rumors, the wanted level system in GTA 6 stays capped at 5 stars. There's no elusive 6th star wanted level, as some speculated. Get ready for heart-pounding pursuits and the intense heat of a 5 star wanted level in Vice City's bustling streets. Envision yourself gliding across the captivating Everglades aboard a cutting-edge hovercraft. This serves as just one of the remarkable personal vehicles available to you right from the game's start. Take, for instance, the attention-grabbing 1970 Ford Ranchero GT, adorned in a striking red and black color scheme, owned by the character Jason. The thrill is palpable as the game kicks off with small-scale heists and local business robberies, instantly pumping your adrenaline and plunging you into the action. Advancements in interactivity have truly set a new standard for the gaming experience. Gone are the days of instant bank account upgrades post-store robbery. Instead, players will physically retrieve money from the store's counter using an interactive button, intensifying the level of immersion. Let's now shift our attention to the highly anticipated release date. The game has been officially set to launch in the autumn of 2024. With this impressive array of vehicles, players will have a plethora of options to choose from and personalize their rides, ensuring an unforgettable driving experience as they navigate Vice City streets. Exciting news for series fans. Stunt jumps are making a return in GTA 6. Notably, players will be able to drop weapons, leading to chaotic and thrilling situations. Picture yourself seated in the back of a speeding pickup truck, taking out pursuers behind you. Moreover, the perspective will differ from GTA 5, offering a more immersive view with a closer, over-the-shoulder angle. Let's address some of the prevalent rumors gaining traction. 
Please note that these details are unconfirmed, but seem highly plausible based on leaks. It seems that players will have the chance to engage in surfing, fishing, and weightlifting activities in the game. The idea of catching waves or honing your virtual physique is indeed thrilling. Additionally, GTA 6 is likely to be exclusively released for S5, Xbox Series X, and S, with the PC version's fate uncertain. Unfortunately, it appears improbable that the game will be available on PS4 and Xbox One. Nonetheless, we can remain hopeful for a PC release. Let's explore the exciting new additions woven into the game. A standout feature is the capacity to wield assault rifles while inside a vehicle, a truly revolutionary element. As you traverse the cityscape, you'll notice a shift toward more modern vehicles, perfectly mirroring the urban setting. Conversely, rural areas like the Everglades offer an array of weathered, older vehicles exuding that classic GTA charm. Whether you seek a flashy, city-ready ride or long for nostalgic jaunts through the countryside, GTA 6 presents a diverse range of options catering to your preferences. Hold on, there's more to uncover in GTA 6. The depth of interaction has significantly expanded, allowing players to engage with a wide variety of objects. This encompasses money, USB drives, weapons, food, consumables, and clothing items. A confirmed highlight of the game is the introduction of a social media platform called What Up, designed to deepen the game's immersive experience. Furthermore, leaked information suggests the inclusion of a hovercraft in single-player mode. This hovercraft bears a striking resemblance to the Vortex from previous GTA titles, although its official name in GTA 6 remains undisclosed. Stay tuned for further updates as we bring you the latest developments on GTA 6. GTA 6 boasts significant improvements in weapon interactions and animations compared to GTA 5, marking a notable advancement. Let's now focus on Jason's unique ability. It seems he possesses a skill similar to Sixth Sense, evident in leaked footage where he enters a shop and identifies special or hidden items. This adds an intriguing layer to the gameplay experience. Now, let's shine a light on building interiors, a welcome addition to GTA 6. Players will have access to a wider array of indoor locations compared to GTA 5, offering abundant opportunities for heists and enhancing the overall gameplay. Speaking of robberies, the store robbery system in GTA 6 seems more intricate. In leaked clips, we witness Jason and Lucia robbing Hank's waffles, effectively holding up the entire diner. Tension mounts as a timer on the screen counts down to the imminent arrival of law enforcement, creating intense gameplay moments. Let's now explore the impressive array of confirmed weapons featured in GTA 6. Players will have access to a total of 24 weapons, perfect for those heart-pounding moments. This arsenal includes an assault rifle, baseball bat, bolt-action sniper rifle, compact SMG, crowbar, fire bottle, flashbang, golf ball, golf driver, golf iron, putter, wedge, grenades, hunter sniper rifle, knife, micro SMG, Molotov cocktail, pistol, pool cue, pump action shotgun, RPG, smoke grenade, spear gun, and the trusty unarmed combat. With such a diverse selection, players will be prepared for any situation that arises. Inertia takes on a significant role in GTA 6, affecting character movement. Shifting from a sprint to a walk now involves a noticeable delay, adding to the game's realism. Moreover, changes in direction exhibit a subtle sliding effect, preventing instant shifts in movement direction as observed in GTA 5. Additionally, we've spotted Port Gellhorn on the side of a police car, confirming its inclusion in the game. Port Gellhorn is likely to serve as a smaller secondary city, reminiscent of Sandy Shores or Polito Bay from GTA 5, expanding the world and offering players additional adventures. In terms of interactivity, GTA 6 enhances the experience by introducing a wider range of interactive elements compared to GTA 5. For instance, during a store robbery, the cashier tosses the cash bag in your direction, but it won't be automatically collected. Instead, players will need to actively focus on the bag, press a designated button, and then retrieve it. Another notable addition is the ability to switch the aiming shoulder, a feature previously seen in Red Dead Redemption 2 and now integrated into GTA 6. Moreover, GTA 6 promises to provide a more immersive experience when engaging with NPCs. As you pass by them, NPCs will offer varying comments, enriching the depth of the game world. The meticulous attention to detail in GTA 6 is truly exceptional. In heists and robberies, you'll face the decision to secure hostages using cable ties, adding a strategic layer to these high-stakes scenarios. Additionally, vehicle damage holds greater significance in GTA 6. Even a single collision can trigger smoke from the engine, intensifying realism and consequences in gameplay. 
Rockstar has refined noise cancellation during transitions between indoor and outdoor settings in GTA 6. Unlike GTA 5, where firearms often had similar and less authentic sounds, GTA 6 boasts vastly improved and more realistic gun sounds. This attention to detail significantly enhances the overall gaming experience. Moreover, Life Invader makes a return in GTA 6, existing within the same universe as GTA 5. Two characters engage in conversation about the demise of Jay Norris, an event from the storyline of GTA 5. Adding a delightful touch, you can now acquire gumballs from gumball machines. While seemingly minor, it adds a charming layer of realism to the game. Prepare to delve into the Vice City Metro system, named the Vice City Metro, a fully functional transportation network offering an alternative mode of travel in the game. Similar to riding in the back of a pickup truck, you'll be able to lean out of windows and engage in 360-degree shooting while someone else drives, creating thrilling, action-packed moments. Hey, guess what, folks? We've got some exciting tidbits about GTA 6 straight from the leaks of September 2022. So the community banded together, poured over all the videos, and cooked up a nifty PDF file chock full of details about the upcoming game. All right, let's dive right into the juicy bits. First up, we might be seeing something called Donut Burnout, which sounds like these wild illegal burnout showcases at intersections, you know, kind of like those car meets you often catch in Florida. Then there's this intriguing tidbit about a tire swing, which sounds like a small environmental detail. Moving on, there's a laundry list of exciting events. We're talking Broken Dawn Car Shady, North Miami Parking Dispute, Shocking Event Test, and even Police Siren Abuse. Oh, and don't forget, BMX Hangout and Motorsport Hangout Looks like we'll be treated to some cool car meets and BMX trickster gatherings. Also, get ready for some run-ins with the law, thanks to a DUI sobriety test. Imagine dealing with law enforcement, either as part of a mission or just a random encounter. And hey, ever dreamed of witnessing some good old vandalism? Well, stuck vehicle swamp vandalism might just scratch that itch. Who knows, it might even be a side gig for us, like spraying graffiti back in the good old days of GTA San Andreas. By the way, I'm holding a monthly giveaway for a PlayStation 5. You just need to subscribe and you're entered. Now, back to the video. Brace yourselves for ATV Speeder Stunt 4 Wheels Drive. A mouthful, right? It sounds like some crazy stunts with ATVs, maybe involving a bit of daredevilry, all while downing a few beers shotgun style. Sounds like a hoot, doesn't it? Picture this, casual, humorous interactions with NPCs, perhaps wrapped up in some wild drinking games or contests. Now, let's talk about Angry Woman Malibu Club over at Vice Beach Plaza, Ocean View. I mean, that title speaks volumes, doesn't it? Just imagining the chaos and drama in that scenario is enough to get the adrenaline pumping. Next up, there's a mysterious one. Drop kill one, two, and three. Yeah, I'm scratching my head too. And here's a puzzler, Everglades fracking. I'm not entirely sure what's brewing here, but my best guess is players might tinker with or disrupt fracking operations in the Everglades. Could be a nod to some eco-conscious theme in the game. Now here's a heartwarming twist. Elderly favor hungry. Helping out people could lead to some valuable intel. You scratch their back, they scratch yours, right? And hey, ever wondered what it's like to get frisked by the police? Well, Copper Rest Encounter gives us a sneak peek. It sounds like players or NPCs might get a surprise pat down by the cops, possibly involving some unexpected discoveries. And don't overlook car pullover. It's all connected, probably leading to these pat down situations we just talked about. Now, let's talk about some heart pounding scenarios coming your way in GTA 6. Hold on tight because this is where things get seriously intense. First up, there's the bangs on window attack. Imagine sitting in your car, minding your own business, and suddenly someone's banging on your window. Talk about a pulse pounding moment. And that's not all. Get ready for player steal vehicle deal and cop raid. It's a wild mix of crime and justice with rival gangs, stuck up crews, bayside jumpers, and folks passed out at mansions. Oh, and let's not forget the chilling kidnapped victim scenario, complete with AI kidnappers and protesters in Santeria sacrifice. But wait, there's more. Pop out attack, double cross bike accident, overly packed vehicle crash, escape time traffic fleeing, and robber concussion hunting accident. And in all of these, both parties end up injured. Ouch, right? It seems like every corner in GTA 6 is packed with danger and excitement. Now, here's something intriguing. The game seems to introduce different types of thieves, each with their unique skills and stories. There's this concept of a known thief, hinting at a reputation system where NPCs recognize your criminal background, affecting how they interact with you. And get this, different locations in the game might have their own affiliated criminals or gangs. 
Think about it. Store robberies and gang confrontations, all tailored to specific locations, each with its level of sophistication. It's a criminal underworld teeming with possibilities. Let's talk about high cashier events scattered across various locations. These spots could be hotbeds for missions, interactions, or criminal activities. Picture this, high-stake heists, intense showdowns, and adrenaline-fueled getaways, all in the pursuit of the big score. The mention of high cashier events hints that some locations might be easier targets for robberies. Imagine the thrill of planning heists in places where you can get in and out without breaking a sweat. And that's not all, folks. Get ready for some quirky encounters like tourist photo picky Jumping Whale and the intriguing Female Art North Miami Overpass. Talk about random, right? Then there are these events like Idiots Tough and Scared on Highway and Bridge, Prison Hitchhiker Threaten in Room, and Threaten on Four Court Dealer Robbery. It's a mix of intensity and suspense that's bound to keep you on the edge of your seat. And here's a real game changer, GE Stealth Base Encounter. This one seems to suggest the inclusion of stealth-based encounters or missions within the game. Imagine sneaking past guards and pulling off heists without a sound. It's a whole new level of strategy in the world of GTA. But hey, it's not all seriousness in GTA 6. There are places where you might just catch people hanging out, like car hangouts in Port Gellhorn, boat trailer, and even truck hangout at PGH Food Street. It's a glimpse into the everyday lives of the characters, adding layers of depth to the game. And here's a little tidbit to leave you wondering. While these events sound fantastic, there might be even more hidden gems waiting for us in the final game. Think about it. With each leak, there's a possibility of uncovering new and thrilling events that could make GTA 6 the most immersive and unpredictable experience yet. Oh, and did I mention there's a list of possible side missions? Alright folks, let's dive into more intriguing details about GTA 6. It's like peeling back the layers of an epic adventure. First up, there's Spiritual Journey Port Gellhorn, Lost Boyfriend, and Lost Bird. Sounds like we're in for some emotional quests, doesn't it? These events suggest a focus on helping NPCs with their personal problems, a chance for players to step into the shoes of the ultimate problem solver. Then, there's Display Data Port Gellhorn. Imagine a mission where you're tasked with obtaining, protecting, or utilizing some form of valuable data. It's like something out of a sci-fi thriller, and you're at the heart of it. Ever heard of the Beach Bum Preacher? It could be a nod to the Beach Bum movie, hinting at a character or mission arc focused on rebellion, freedom, or spiritual exploration. Imagine the beaches of GTA 6 teeming with characters fighting for a cause, each with a unique story to tell. Now, here's something luxurious. Picture this, a high-stakes heist or recovery mission revolving around a luxurious Rolex watch. It's not just an accessory, it's the key to a thrilling adventure. And don't forget Lost Crazy Woman and Elderly Woman Runway. It sounds like we might encounter some eccentric characters, each with their quirks and tales. Think mistaken valets, wild hotel scenarios, and lost property puzzles. It's a wild ride through the unexpected. Now let's talk about the intriguing side missions. We've got Fearful Animal, the last one we know about so far. But wait, there's more. In the interesting events category, there are these possible in-world finds that will make your jaw drop. Imagine stumbling upon Cars Church, Trucks Church, and overturned trucks. It's like something straight out of an action movie, right? Then there are burnt wreckages in the forest, hidden tide objects like anchors and cannons, and even a swamp tour crash. It's a world filled with mysterious remnants of the past, but that's not all. Brace yourselves for a wild ride through a plethora of discoveries. From abandoned cars at pier, sea view train tracks, and trash pit in the woods to missing person posters, liquor missing tourists, and victim locations. It's like diving headfirst into a detective thriller, uncovering clues and solving mysteries. Then there's a trophy room, mountain biker corpse, beach possessions, and even a broken bridge rum bottle. And oh, did I mention a shipwreck, UFO, and animal house pen? It's a world filled with the bizarre and the extraordinary, waiting for you to explore every nook and cranny. And that's not even scratching the surface. Get ready for a zorbing accident, car flattened by rock, signpost Wyman truck, and even an invasive species meetup location. It's a testament to the game's attention to detail, creating a world where every corner holds a surprise, every shadow hides a story, and every encounter can lead to an unforgettable adventure. Hang on to your hats, because we're about to dive into the weirdest, wildest, and most mysterious parts of GTA 6 picture this, Sand Art Singing Road and Shark Cage Register Stone. It's the kind of stuff you'd expect in a mind-bending dream, not a video game. And just when you think you've seen it all, GTA 6 throws more curveballs your way. How about discovering a WWW2 plane, or stumbling upon a 
space launch capsule, failed space launch debris, talk about exploring the remnants of history in the most unexpected places. Now, here's where it gets downright bizarre. Dirty Cop Shakedown Location 1 and 2. It sounds like we might be delving into some serious crime investigations, unearthing corruption and secrets that could rock the city to its core. But wait, there's more. GTA 6 might be hiding some intriguing Easter eggs. Think message in a bottle, tires in the ocean, a nod to the Osborne Tire Reef in Florida perhaps, and the mysterious Lost Plane 2 and Lost Plane Memorial. It's like uncovering fragments of stories lost to time. Imagine exploring a haunted warehouse. It's the kind of stuff that gives you chills and makes your jaw drop simultaneously. And don't even get started on Skunk Ape and Giant Bird Nest. It's like stepping into a cryptic world of myths and legends, where every corner holds a new mystery. And let's not forget Dancer Mystery Stalker and Unique Tombstone Lighthouse Mystery. These events sound like something out of a thriller novel, don't they? Imagine piecing together clues, deciphering cryptic messages, and slowly unraveling a mystery that goes deeper than you ever imagined. Lastly, there's the enigmatic giant clam. Just the name alone sparks curiosity. What secrets could this colossal creature hold? It's like the grand finale of a mind-bending journey through the unknown. We might be nearing the end of this video, but trust me, we've only scratched the surface of the wonders and mysteries waiting in GTA 6. With events like Mansion Squatter, it's clear that the game isn't just about action. It's about investigation, exploration, and unearthing the truth, one mind-boggling discovery at a time. 